there are three ratings by the neck we all know till that point i was there i ensured that the neck does not enter into the university of delhi i said when they will come we will get out them we will not allow them to assess anything and it will bring more trouble to the vice chancellor and he understood that we have to be clear in our words what we mean see when a institution becomes autonomous it is allowed to liberalize their fees will link the fees of the students will be linked to the salary of the teachers and the kamcharis maintenance of the building payment and and repayment of the hefa loans so who is on the burden i must you 2018 document was talking about giving aid to even to the autonomous institutions but 2023 document the point number 12 which was talking about giving money to these autonomous institutions have been done away with so there is no provision for the autonomous organizations to get funding from the uh, any source any source that means they have to depend upon their fee structure so this is where i am not going into the cuit because nandita ji has talked about it there is drop in the ratio of the girl students and our sections were empty let me tell you uh most of the sort of the courses also when i am right now the prime minister is talking quite high about the graded autonomy i just want to read from the text itself so that you know what is graded autonomy is all about 19.2 through a suitable system of graded accreditation and graded autonomy and in a phased manner in 15 years now there is a competition to do it within 2 to 3 years all higher education institutions in india will aim to become independent self governing institutions again within core self governing institutions and self financing courses having their own fee structure if there is no clarity then i i am so sorry please try to understand what is this fee structure is all about and this graded autonomy is all about and you have a concept called board of governors every university and every college will have a board of governors this concept of affiliation is a matter of the past it is in the running through the last leg of its life and the board of governors appointment will be done by the head fee they have the power absolute powers to appoint oblique termination who are they going to appoint tenure track appointments they will lay down the service conditions you cannot make the ugc or the mhrd a party to your case that i have been terminated so i want i need protection they have made enough provisions that this board of governors will do everything possible on earth starting of new courses and 360 degree appraisal system what you cannot even see at your back you will be afraid every day will be taken up so what you are not accounted so people like me or those who are sitting in this dais in 360 degree we will be where will be standing this try to understand and that is already happening this is not like that so foreign education universities i am not afraid of any foreign educational universities 
Neither we are afraid of any private universities. But let us have a same playing field. They have stopped us grants. Our laboratories are running dry. They have no funds for our libraries. They have no funds for to do anything. And all the developmental fund is coming from the student fees. What we were not touching for last several years. Never we have touched that fees. And today we are dependent even maintenance of the building, maintenance of the life. Everything is coming from the students. And at that point of time, I was talking, saying that one day our salary will be affected. It is getting affected. Now, pensioners of my university are not getting pension in most of the, some of the colleges. Pensions are delayed and partial payments are being made. Many of the teachers are not getting the salary. And of teachers, so they have, and foreign universities, they have inserted a provision in them that will operate in the gift cities, protected gift cities. And one gift city has already started at Gujarat, which is the Gujarat model. And two universities have already started their business, Titan and Ulgan. Ulangan University and this is a small course uh, Daikan is uh, selling it for 18 lakh rupees and uh, the other university is selling for 54 lakhs it is already there in the newspaper it is already and they are claiming that they have achieved something very big where will the marginalized sections of this India will go and what is the control over such universities? India has got no control over such universities. All money will be taken to their parent country. They cannot even uh, check their whole syllabus and what they are teaching. There is no accountability. But such a point of time, when we are start of our funds, we have a system where we cannot even Phrase out, uh, 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 we can document our own syllabus. Now, professors of practice, as if we are not in practice, <laughs> with several other, other categories of foreign faculty, if you want to be a good institution, you have to have 24 percent foreign faculty. We didn't need any foreign faculty to Divide the syllabus of JNU, Delhi University and the IIMs and IIT. But who will be needing? And they entered into a contract, the ministry has entered into a contract in getting feedback for the framing of the syllabus. They paid money. No qualification is this professors of practice. So, badi badi baatein likh kar ke last mein ek expert se usme likhta hai. No qualification is required. As if qualification is a curse in this country. So, without qualification, when you are heading these academic institutions, what you are going to have the outcome? And who are going to be these people? अब जो बड़ी चक्कर काट रहे हैं मैं एक बार धरना कर रहा था भूखड़ताल तो मेरे किसी मित्र ने पूछा कि मैं भी ज्वाइन करना चाहता हूं लेकिन मेरे मैंने कहा नहीं आप मत आइए आपके ऊपर बड़ी दिक्कत आ रही मैं कहा कि देखिए अलाहाबाद में बनारस में और लखनऊ में जो खास विचारधारा के लोग हैं उनके जो नेता लोग हैं छोटे मोटे जो यूनिवर्सिटी के आसपास मंडराते हैं क्योंकि यूनिवर्सिटी में योग्य नहीं है वो दाखिला नहीं ले सकते हैं लेकिन कंट्रोल तो वही करते हैं उन्हें आप पूछिए कि दौलत कॉलेज में फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट में कितना ओबीसी का सीट है 
वो आपको खाली दौलत राम कॉलेज का ओबीसी का सीट नहीं बताएगा आपको रामदास का हिंदू का सबका आपका बता देगा उसका पॉकेट से कागज निकले मैं जो कहना चाहता हूं आप लोग सब समझ गए हो या 25-25 साल काम करने के बाद या टॉपर्स या गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट दे हैव लॉस्ट देयर जॉब्स हम लोगों ने क्या किया इसलिए दिस इज अ पेनफुल मूवमेंट थ्रू विच वी आर ऑल विटनेसिंग एंड गोइंग थ्रू आई थिंक एनी अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज गोइंग ऑन इज इन द राइट डिरेक्शन बट दैट इज नॉट द सोल्यूशन हैफा JNU was the first institution. It became the leader to get a loan, and everybody was told, "They go JNU ne le liya." Me to pata tha jis din Hepa bana tha. The day Hepa was came into existence, I wrote a number of articles. I said, "This is going to the put the last nails in the coffin of this uh, university system, government-funded university system." <laughs> 500, 400 हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड क्रोर सामने तो उसके
with the academic council executive council all statutory decision making bodies because bog if you look at powers and functions of the bog bog is capable of devising your courses curriculum and your service conditions and everything all combined together and this came after the gujarat higher education council bill of 2004 i went there to oppose the bill to various university and one of our former duta president was the governor of that place i wrote number of letters to him saying please do not do this where on what topic you are going to do research that is also identified 87 topics were identified without beyond that you cannot go today in gujarat a guest faculty gets 100 rupees per one class and for technical education they are getting 200 rupees per mba and engineering and they cannot take more than three classes this is the type of education that they are going to unfold in this country in this game of illusions some people may think that they have become permanent or all existing permanent faculty will think that nothing is going to happen to them it is happening and this is going to affect all of us we will be deprived of our pensions they will be losing their jobs and this will be the extension counters in a proxy manner or directly of ambani said adults this is the game plan of this government and this graded autonomy and everything is leading towards only one thing no funding decide your own fate merge institutions cluster colleges do not go by what the usa is doing and that is also not their concern they want to combine some courses and do it at a particular college so the workload is gone and you are running from pillar to post there is a new circular in our university that the university is going to open from 8 am to 8 pm as if world war is happening and we are in a producing line manufacturing line of producing pumps all our teacher and students will assemble pumps and and that will be dropped very next day they are not applying their mind this is already in operation so it is i am quite thankful to gobi and sir and others at least aajkal hum log apni baatein apne se hi bolte rehte hain kam se kam kuch like minded logon ko to bithaya ki sunne ke liye aur kuch aur logon ko bitha de jinko sunne ki aadat nahi in sara baaton ko to aur acha hota but this is i am again once i am appealing it is time for hard action and believe me as we march people will come and join us 